Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. My name is Timothy Equebelen. Today, we're going to be looking into common accidents that leads to deaths at home. We find out most times, parents are so careless that they leave their drugs, paracetamol, which I'm going to introduce the topic very soon, in a few seconds. They leave their drug, mostly analgesics and some other ones, carelessly at home, and children, most times, mistakenly climb over and take the same and ingest it, or swallow it, or chew it, thinking that it's sweet or chewing gum, and they get overdose, and the next thing is ambulance, or sometimes death. So today, we're going to be looking into what I titled paracetamol, which is acetaminophen and a spring intoxication. So like I said, before I go on to explain what I meant by common accidents that result to deaths in most houses, I'll first of all define what is toxicity. Toxicity is a degree of an intake of a chemical or mixture of chemical that causes hyper to toxic to human organism that leads to death or leads to deformation due to the toxic in the overdosing of those chemical agents. You can see that most times you hear that a child has gone to take drug mistakenly and ingested the drug and either the child is dead or the child is being rushed to the hospital. Sometimes it leads to paralysis, sometimes it damages them, sometimes it causes brain damage, sometimes the child will lose consciousness and only to be revived again in the hospital. So that's why some drugs will come with a label, literature, not even the literature, the label, on the label of the drug you see keep a way out of reach of children. But most parents sometimes are taken by mistake, which I, which I call not just accidental mistake, but due to carelessness. They leave their children, they are watching a, a favorite program on the television, and more, maybe they just finish taking the drug and they leave it on the table, and the child will sneak into the room and thinking that it's some sweet or some chingon and begin to ingest this drug. And you find out that the child has done what overdose, collapse, and only to find out by the parents or by the mother that the child has overdosed. Most times, children die before the ambulance will come. They have overdosed themselves due to hyper to toxicity that is in the drug that has caused the problem of overdosing. There's a special, a specific amount of those a child should take, and there's a specific amount of those an adult should take that will not lead to overdosing of drugs. Most of them drugs like paracetamol and aspirin are classified under analgesic. Like I said, drugs are classified as antibiotics, antihypertensive, anti ulcer and different kinds of classification like anti, oh sorry, analgesic. So under the analgesic, Paracetamol is over the counter drug. You know, it's, a doctor can prescribe you paracetamol, and you yourself, both paracetamol and aspirin, can walk over to the pharmacy and demand to buy aspirin or paracetamol without a doctor prescribing it. And because of this, because you can walk up to the pharmacist and say you want paracetamol, and they just give it to you. Most times, these drugs are abused. Sometimes, a case. A woman was given prescribed, she complained about pens and X and met the doctor, met the GP. She was prescribed a drug, paracetamol. She went to the to buy the drug, came home, kept taking it two times, two times three, two times, two, two tablets, three times daily. Until she finishes the, the dose the doctor gave. Instead of her to report back to the doctor because she did not get a pain relief. 
she decided to go to the pharmacy and get buying and buying, buying bottles and taking paracetamol. Over a long period of time, for over about a year, she, she developed a liver problem. And also, she had a kidney problem as, as a result of paracetamol intoxication. So when they checked her blood level, found that she had taken too much paracetamol. So too much paracetamol is not good for you. Apart from the overdosing, when you take it over a range, a long period of time, it can damage your kidney, it can damage your liver. So we're looking at what paracetamol can do when we overdose it. Sometimes, by a quadratic mistake, or by a quadratic carelessness, like I said, parents can keep their drugs at home, children can go and take it. Sometimes, by self-indulgence, mistakenly, somebody is taking paracetamol without knowing the implication of what he or she is taking. She will just take the paracetamol, thinking that I can get it over the counter, not want a few headache or some pains, I keep taking it. You know, sometimes they overdose themselves. They don't know the amount of drug they can take per dose um, by daily. So that brings us to number two bullet point, which is paracetamol intoxication. So the other dose for paracetamol, like I put it here, the other dose is one gram per dose. And a one gram is equivalent to 1,000 milligrams. So per dose, you can, an adult can take up to one gram or 1,000 milligram per dose. And, and the adult can also take up to four grams of paracetamol, which is about 4,000 milligrams, 4,000 milligrams per day. So anything is exceeding this has become overdose. And the overdose of paracetamol can cause hypertoxic which causes liver cirrhosis or liver problem. People begin to have liver cirrhosis and so begin to have liver problem because the drug is hypertoxic to the liver, to the system. Some people die as a result. Anything, some people take up to about 10,000 milligrams of, of paracetamol per dose. Some take up to about 10,000 or 20,000 uh, milligram, 20,000 uh, grams of, sorry, 20,000 milligram of, of a spring per day. And this will lead, lead to death eventually. It's not taken to hospital immediately. The person can die. Okay? So, we're looking at it. Some people commit suicide. Now, I talked about the, the carelessness and in, in, in the pathogenic carelessness. I talked about the self-indulgence when people take it. The next one, some people purposely take it to, to, to commit suicide. They take, you know, more than one bottle of that contains over 1,000 tablets of paracetamol and take it and swallow it and die. So these things, we should know that even though that paracetamol and aspirin, aspirin and paracetamol are under analgesic, analgesic, yeah, over-the-counter drugs. Over-the-counter drugs. But even though it's over-the-counter drugs, we should not abuse it. And we should not be careless we should not be careless about these drugs where children are because the children can take it. And when we're taking it, it should not go above these dose. You cannot go above it. Anything going above these dose, one gram per dose, has become too much and it can lead to death. Anything above this. That's for those. Anything above in the range going up, like above four grams, has been going over four thousand milligrams. It can kill you. So, so what is an overdose? Number three. An overdose is anything more than the one hundred fifty milligrams, which is about twelve grams. Some people take up to thirty grams of this. You're not supposed to take more than one hundred fifty milligrams. And children, you see, if you're not supposed to take one hundred fifty milligrams. Children are supposed to take less than 150 milligrams per dose. Anything above that, you know, when you want to give a dose for children, it's by arithmetic. And sometimes, you dosing children is arithmetical. The doctor, you know, sometimes children does not have a dose. And the doctors need to do some arithmetic to, to bring the dose to a certain level. You need to bring some arithmetic to, to put it. Okay? So we should be very, very careful at home. When keeping the drugs, this is the lessons we need to learn 
common mistake that led to some vibrant, young looking, strong children, beautiful children to have that resulted to their deaths. Children who have been today the future of this generation, they didn't come to make it again. They died as a result of their parents' carelessness. So these are the things we should be very careful. If you are a mother, you should be very careful on how you keep your drugs. Not only paracetamol and aspirin, you know, other things as well. When it comes to children, try to take some dangerous things. That's why even in my house, apart from drugs and you say water, little and bath, you have to mop it, clean it so the child does not slip down and fall down and break their head. And dangerous things and dangerous weapons, so also is drugs as well. So it's not only mopping your floor, your tiles, and, and also removing dangerous things like hammer, chisels, and, and screwdrivers, and all those things that can injure children and of blood. They also should be aware of the drugs because those drugs kills immediately if the children get overdose. So we should be very, very aware of these common accidents at home and because of carelessness in, in our parents. And some of our parents are very, very careless, to be honest. So the next one we're talking about is if, it, if somebody, an adult, take this overdose, you can see it here, what will be the treatment? If you are home, you find out that somebody has taken an overdose and has fainted and is about to die. What do you do to that person? First of all, you have to call an ambulance and, and let the dog people know that the person has taken an overdose of the drug. And, and when the doctor comes, the next thing they do is to do the one to give the, the person activated charcoal immediately at once. Activated charcoal, you can see here. Activated charcoal. Then when they give that, either activated charcoal or they give acetylcysteine. Acetylcysteine, mm -hmm. about two grams intravenous infusion. Immediately, the doctor has to give this uh, acetylcysteine two grams infusion, intravenous infusion, to do what? It's an antidote for paracetamol intoxication. It's an, it's an antidote, and activated charcoal is also an, an antidote. So that's what you give the person, and it can increase it up to four grams. Then the next one. It's another analgesic by the name aspirin. Most people have aspirin, which is salicylate or acetylic acid or salicylate. Uh, we say also an analgesic over the counter drug, like I said, over the counter drug. Some people have aspirin poisoning and overdose. So when you get an overdose, what does it give you? You first experience a block in your ear. Your ear becomes blood. You become blood here. And if you feel some dizziness and you begin to feel nauseatic. And when you feel nauseatic, the next thing you have is hyperventilation followed by respiratory alkalosis. You begin to have, the first thing is hyperventilation here. The next thing you, you suffer is respiratory alkalosis. And this respiratory alkalosis is due to metabolic acidosis. So there's an increase and metabolic acidosis, which also increase the amino acid group. And this amino acid group as it increases, it results to accumulation because the amino acid is accumulated, it results to accumulation of intracellular lactose. And once there's an increase in, 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 in intracellular, intracellular um, lactose, the patient begin to do what? To excrete bicarbonate. And once the, once the, once the kidney Sorry, the, the kidney begin to excrete bicarbonate due to increase in, in um, uh, due to increase in intracellular lactose. You find out that the, the kidney begin to have a problem because it's excreting it and you begin to lose bicarbonate. And this can affect the kidney and you can have a kidney failure. Thank you very much because this is just gonna be a brief lecture. I've talked so much about classification of drugs in my other videos. So this wasn't meant to be a long video. But having said this, I talked about in summary to what I just said. I talked about paracetamol intoxication and aspirin intoxication. I talked about uh, what is toxicity, paracetamol intoxication, adult dose and children dose, overdosing, what happens at home, and home accident treatment when you get it. I talked about aspirin as well and how when you get aspirin overdose, what happens to you. Thank you very much for watching my channel. I appreciate you so much for your time you spent in watching this program. 
and i want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel timothy equivalent when you subscribe to my channel timothy equivalent you will get my video tailored to you on inside your phone and your laptops and your mini tabs thank you very much and god bless you amen